Happy New Year, everybody. Some of you, it's so nice to see you all again. We're starting early this year. Um, good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and members of the House Committee. As a state, my name is Gail Murdy. And I'm here to testify on behalf of the Rhode Island chapter for the National Organization of Women. We submitted testimony at 2.30 uh, from our president, Hillary Freeman, also from two members, both of whom are doctors, Dr. Patricia Ritchie, and also Dr. Paula Carmichael. And I would suggest that in your leisure time that you actually read what Dr. Carmichael submitted in an excellent, excellent article on sexual harassment and what victims go through. Uh, it's really important for people to understand this. Thank you. So we are opposing the changes made to propose Bill 5037 as it pertains to new sexual harassment and discrimination section. We view this as a hasty addition to eliminate sexual harassment, intimidation, and discrimination in the State House, as it falls short in providing safeguards for such a complex issue. While creating an Office of Compliance, it is the right action but to do so without input from last year's House Commission on Unlawful Sexual Harassment in the Workplace, chaired by Representative Tansy, is puzzling and we feel unfortunate. We fear by ignoring their findings, which was a collaborative effort, bipartisan, with corporate leaders, human resource professionals, of which I was one for 20 years, and I was there during that testimony and the Society of Human Resource people were there, and their information is really important for you to take into your discussion on this, but also lawyers and legislators, <coughs> etc. The committee is understanding these complex issues. This is why they were there, to look at these complex issues. And to use an old adage, by ignoring the findings, uh, it's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You already have a foundation which you can look at to add on to the good work that you're trying to do in this bill. But most importantly, it must be stressed that any allegations of harassment, sexual and other, should not be under the jurisdiction of any members who may have perpetuated the offense Further, we support the idea of creating an independent committee, not composed of elected officials. This will ensure fair and just assessment of cases and eliminate, most importantly, eliminate fear of reprisals for reporting any issues of harassment, sexual or otherwise. I thank you for your time listening to this. And rest assured, our membership, as in many other memberships throughout the state, will be following this very closely. 